uh, the main thing that happened in 2004 that you're referring to probably uh, in my life was uh, that we got I got the Nobel Prize for Physics shared with my uh, thesis advisor David Gross and with David Pollitzer and we got that for uh, discovering the basic equations of what's called the strong force that's the that's the force that holds quarks and gluons and ultimately atomic nuclei together it's the most powerful force in nature and understanding it has had many many ramifications uh, throughout physics and cosmology and so uh, yeah we got to spend a, a glorious week in Stockholm and then I went up north also all the way to Karuna and we had a great time <laughs> in recent years I've thought much more and more about uh, how we can use the ideas that we've learned about and discovered in thinking about fundamental interactions to make new kinds of instruments and make new kinds of observations, make new kinds of materials. And so when uh, the Swedish Research Council uh, uh, offered a very generous grant that would allow us to uh, come back on a regular basis for several years, uh, we were very interested and uh, we're exploring that possibility now. Uh, it's a, as well as an attractive place to live, uh, it's a vibrant scientific environment with the uh, Nordida, uh, with the Oscar Klein Center and a number of centers of really excellent uh, activity. And I think uh, it's growing, growing in, uh, in and it's a, it's uh, a great opportunity now to uh, to build build new activities as well as participate in the ones that are already here. I'm a professor uh, of theoretical physics uh, based at MIT and also now uh, have a joint appointment at Stockholm University.